What's up guys, Mr. Watermelon here, and today I'm bringing you guys another LEGO Star Wars 2015 Future Set Analysis. This time guys, we've got the Imperial Shuttle Tidarium. The set is number 75094, contains 937 pieces, will be retailing for 100 US dollars. Off the bat, the 10 cents per piece is slightly low, but this set is definitely, definitely worth the 100 dollars that you pay for, because the minifigures that come with the set make the, sh they make the ship just about perfect. And the ship itself is basically a smaller version of the UCS one, which is really, really cool. And this set, you know what, I'm just going to, let's just stop looking at the box and look at the set itself. Because this is ridiculous. It is so big as well. Look at it on a stand. I'm not sure if the, no, that stand probably doesn't come with the set, unfortunately. But looking at the minifigure, and look at the size of the minifigure next to the ship, how tall it is. And it's just so cool. This is a very, very cool set. A very iconic ship, as you know. You know, Shuttle Tidarium coming into the, uh, into Endor, you know, breaking the shield, or, you know, bypassing the shield, whatever. It's just so cool, and the minifigures make it worth it as well. But we're going to look at the ship first from a bunch of different angles. There it is next to the, there's a little bit of glare down there. But this, look, there it is next to the minifigures again, and it's just, it's so tall and so big, and it's just, it looks really neat. And the detail is not overdone, but it's, just perfect, and there's a look at some more. A look at some of the detail up front. We see a lot of ion, a lot of uh, laser cannons, as well as some more details up there. And uh, you can see a little bit of the head right there. There's another look at the ship straight on. You can see the size of it as, again as well. And uh, there's a, little, a couple little accessories that come with it. We get a crate as well as a lot of spring loaded shooters. And here's a look at the cockpit. Uh, I assume it opens up. I forget. I have a picture of it opening up later. But um, it's just the, the nose, and I think it either, it might open up the towards the per, towards you or away from you. I don't know. But the cockpit does seat two or three as well. Um, there's the back of the ship. You can see the engine details right there, and we get some more lasers on the back. I like the tiles, the the trans tiles as the engines. That looks uh, really neat. Uh, there's a better look at the whole back. And uh, there's the cockpit. Okay, it does open away from you, like as opposed to the other, the UCS one, which opened towards you. And uh, we get some nice control panels in there, as well as uh, seating for two, possibly three. I don't know. I could probably modify it to squeeze three in there, but I wouldn't do that. But it looks uh, really neat as well. And I'm pretty sure the ship doesn't actually open up to the inside because there's not really much to show on the inside. But if it did, that would be cool as well. And I don't have any pictures of that if it does. Now we're going to look at the minifigures, which definitely make the set worthwhile, like I said. We get that, um, from left to right, we have the Chewbacca, which is obviously the new design of Chewbacca that came in the droid gunship, comes in the droid gunship, you can get it there as well. Uh, not new, not exclusive, still cool. Next up is Han Solo. This is the one that I say makes the set worth. This is definitely my favorite minifigure of the set, because it's an Endor version of Han Solo, one that we've never seen before. We've never seen Lego actually do specifically Endor version of Han Solo. And the detail from in the torso going down into the legs is very neat. The uh, the tan jacket that he's wearing over his uh, smuggler's outfit that that's just really cool. It's so, it's very simple, but it, it gets the job done, and it, it's just a great minifigure. And next is Princess Leia, which is another awesome one, and she comes with uh, that hairpiece, the Endor hairpiece that I believe we uh, I don't know where else we get that minifigure. I mean the the, uh, the hairpiece, but it's it's not new. It doesn't look new. And a face, which I doubt is new, and uh, that, uh, what do you call it, the shawl, like the, the camo shawl going around here. That's a very cool detail that they added on her instead of just printing the detail. And she's got regular blue legs, and she has that little cookie, which is a nice, uh, cute little detail that she, uh, you know, gives to Wicket. Or maybe that's, uh, I don't know, it's, it has something to do with uh, the Ewoks, so it's a cute little detail. And these two uh, Endor troopers over there, we have an, a guy with a mustache and an, another dude. And they're, uh, you see, I didn't mind the design of the Endor Troopers before with the light green, but now that they're using the sand green, it looks a lot better. It looks more like camo, like, uh, like, you know, it, lo it looks better in, in general. It looks like a better, uh, design for the Endor Troopers, and it looks more accurate as well. I didn't think that they could get more accurate, but, yep, they, uh, they did. There's another picture of them with a little bit different lighting. You can see, uh, some better focus on, like, Han Solo's detail and, uh, the trooper on the far right. So, a, a really great selection of minifigures for the set, and um, that's what makes the set worth it. So, I say that if, if you don't have a, uh, an, an Imperial Shuttle, and you're not saving up for anything else like I am, 
uh, definitely go ahead and buy the set because it's definitely definitely worth it and it will look great on any display shelf anywhere. So that's going to be it for the set. This is definitely one of the, I'd, I'd say it may be tied or a little higher than the final duel for the uh, best set of the wave. So that's going to be it for this like, for this uh, future set analysis. Please give this, big, this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think of the set? Do you think the minifigures are on point as I think they are? Will you be getting it? All fun thoughts in the comment section below. And be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't for uh, further analyses as well as mocks, animations, reviews, hauls. All things LEGO Star Wars are right there on Watermelon Studios, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Thank you guys very much for watching. Once again, this has been Mr. Watermelon. Peace out, guys.